A man stands still, completely stunned, as he looks into the eyes of a huge blue dragon, the dragon flaps its wings and roars before charging towards Rent, moments later he wakes up near a poolside but notices he has been turned into an undead skeleton, in a flashback Rent waking up to a new morning. A lower bronze adventurer, born in a village that doesn't appear on maps, Rent goes to a place where many adventurers came for a party, he is still a lower bronze level adventurer even after 10 years, he goes inside a cave and finds a hidden package, he was getting excited thinking he found a fortune, but he faced a dragon face to face. He saw a dragon for the first time, back to present as Rent realizes he is now an undead monster, he thinks of returning to the town which could cause his exorcism, he was exploring that place, thinking about the labyrinth of the new moon where remaining adventurers go for loot, Rent was the solo adventurer who goes there. He finds one more skeleton in that cave, so weak that he wasn't able to lift a sword, the skeleton who came from the other side wasn't able to stand perfectly, he lifted the sword and killed the other skeleton and he got more powerful, after that, we can see a girl explaining about skeletons, she was telling that evolution is known as existential evolution. Rent remembered those things, and he decided he needs to achieve existential evolution, Rent walks through the halls of the labyrinth and kills multiple monsters to take their energy, a slime covers one of the hallways and Rent attacks it. After recovering the slime's acid, Rent decides to take some rest. The guild had sent another newbie adventurer to the labyrinth since it is a low-level area, meanwhile Rent decides to focus on killing monsters to achieve existential evolution. Throughout Rent's human years, he trained and focused on becoming a mithril-class adventurer, even after turning into a skeleton, Rent did not give up on his dream. He started to grow, he proceeds to kill more skeletons and slimes until he transforms into a ghoul, Rent is happy to see the muscle in his body and tries to talk, unfortunately he has the vocal cords of a ghoul and is unable to sound human. Later he found some goblins, he has to fight with them, he is getting evolved after every fight, he killed goblins too, Rent said he feels he's stronger than humans, after that we see a girl fighting with a skeleton, Rent also witnessed that there is a human inside the cave, he was shocked to see her, he was seeing her from a distance. He was also going behind her, the way the rookie girl was going, in the path she finds one more skeleton and kills that skeleton too, she said if she wants to be a real adventurer, she won't die at the hands of a skeleton, suddenly the skeleton was about to attack her but Rent came from behind and saved that girl. Rent was trying to talk to her but he wasn't able to talk due to his skeleton evolution, he tried to explain to her that he's an adventurer and his name is Rent. The girl thanked Rent for saving her, she asked him if she can go back, Rent requested her to buy him some clothes, he also gave some money to her. She said, as a daughter of a knight I shall repay your debt, she said she will be back soon, Rent also said in his mind that she will come back, he trusted her, she was going back on the other side. In the cave Rent was still having combats with multiple enemies, the girl came back to find Rent. She also got some clothes, Rent was getting better at talking. The girl was scaring from Rent, Rent asked her if he can look at the clothes, he also liked the clothes she got, she also got some first aids for him, Rent got ready, the girl liked his new look she also gave him a mask, the girl was saying to him that when she first saw Rent, she thought Rent is a monster. When Rent wore that mask the mask got stuck to Rent's face, the mask she got Rent wasn't able to remove that, she said some kind of curse is related to the mask, but Rent tried with powers, then also the mask wasn't getting out of his face, she said sorry to Rent for bringing a cursed item to him, Rent thanked her. The girl was going back, she also took Rent with her, she was telling about herself to Rent that she wants to become a fearless strong adventurer, Rent wasn't going inside with her because Rent said a lot of people know him at that place, Rent tried to make her understand if she helped him, then she will lose her adventurer license. Then also the girl said she will risk her life for him, the guards weren't giving entry to Rent, they said to Rent to remove his mask but Rena said this is a cursed mask, guards also tried to remove his mask but after that they gave entry to Rent, suddenly Rent disappeared and Rena was finding him, Rent didn't tell her anything. Later that night Rent visits Lorraine's house and finds the door open with her sleeping inside, he enters and wakes her up, she instantly recognizes him, and he shows her his rotting hand as she asked him what happened to him. After hearing Rent's story, Lorraine says there is no record of such a thing ever happening, Lorraine asks Rent if he is still Rent since his body is now undead, 
Brent says he wants to continue working on his dream and become a mithril adventurer. Lorraine says that Rent has to help with her research in exchange for her accepting the guild requests. Later we see Rent cleaning the house, and Lorraine arrives with his payment for the slime liquid. Later that day Rent heads over to the blacksmith to get a new sword. He hands them his old sword and pays a good price to have it ready. He also informs them that he can use magic, spirit energy and divinity. The woman informs him that he will need to visit them several times, Lorraine continues her research to learn more about Rent's condition and recalls the first time they met, we see a flashback where he is a rookie and joins her in collecting herbs in the forest, he protects her from a monster and allows her to use an attack spell. Impressed by his knowledge she asks him to teach her, the blacksmith calls Rent over and hands him a temporary sword until his new one is ready, informing him that it is limited to magic and spirit energy only, the blacksmith realizes Rent is in deep trouble and intends to get the truth out of him eventually. Rent heads back into the labyrinth and finds an adventurer struggling to fight a slime, Rent helps him and the man thanks him profusely, the man tells him about his situation and the hefty loan he has to repay, asking if he can join Rent on adventures, however Rent is suspicious and declines. After a lot of pleading Rent agrees. Rent takes him to the secret passageway and realizes the dragon isn't there, they then enter a slim passage that leads them into a room, as they enter the room Rent sees a portal on the floor and warns the man not to approach it. Unfortunately the man isn't able to see it and walks straight into it getting teleported, Rent follows along and gets teleported into a room with a humongous skeleton. Rent wanders around the dungeon trying to find an exit, but is completely trapped in the boss's room, Rent knows that he must defeat the giant skeleton to escape, by charging his spirit energy into the sword Rent crushes the skeleton's skull, the adventurer wakes up after Rent uses his healing magic and is astonished that the giant skeleton was defeated. Rent gives the essence stone to the adventurer in exchange for his help purchasing things from the guild and shops, Rent is the only one who can see the magic circles in the dungeon, the labyrinth has two circles one to enter deeper and one to exit, for the day Rent and the adventurer return to the town, after entering Lorraine's house Rent hugs her. Lorraine asks Rent what's happening but Rent suddenly bites her on the neck. Rent takes a bite out of her flesh and entirely loses control. Lorraine uses her ability to suspend Rent and put him to sleep. After Rent wakes up Lorraine asks whether he was placed under control. Lorraine says she expected Rent to do this eventually since ghouls crave human flesh. Rent uses his healing divinity to seal the wound and remove all the pain. The cursed mask starts responding to Rent's desires. Lorraine assumes that Rent had another existential evolution, Lorraine says that Rent is closer to a gout now, a vampire servant, Lorraine starts talking about her theory on existential evolution. Lorraine says that the key to evolution is the desire of the monster, Rent wants to become human, a vampire is closer to a human than other monsters, Lorraine says that if Rent keeps evolving he could reach the form of a vampire and then maybe even a human, however there are some conditions for Rent to evolve again. Lorraine gets excited about doing experiments on Rent's body but he's too tired to do anything without rest, Rent returns to Cloak with his broken sword and tells him about the giant skeleton, since he faces higher level monsters, Cloak gives Rent a better sword in the labyrinth. Lorraine researches multiple spells and potions, most of which are poisonous, Rent drinks the poison that Lorraine makes and it luckily doesn't affect him, moreover Rent doesn't feel like sleeping at all. However Rent has an urge to eat human flesh and blood, Lorraine gives Rent a vial with her blood for him to drink. Lorraine suggests Rent keep himself hidden from the guild to prevent an uproar, Lorraine suggests that Rent create a new identity to start ranking up, the next day Rent goes to the guild and registers as a new adventurer, Rent writes his name as Rent Vivier and Sheila is shocked at the similarity to Rent Fina. The guild had made rumors about an unusual man entering Lorraine's house and assumed it was the real Rent, Sheila gives Rent an iron rank badge to start his adventures, Rent returns to the labyrinth and finds a newbie swordsman and healer killing some goblins, Rent returns to the teleportation circle and goes to the new secret location. The location looks like an ancient bedroom with a dead skeleton lying on the bed, a woman appears and asks Rent what he's doing, the woman raises her arm and fires a powerful ball of fire, Rent's robes burn off and leave his gassed body exposed. The woman apologizes for the misunderstanding and gives Rent her robe and an acacia map before teleporting him to the entrance, Lorraine investigates the map and realizes only Rent can see it, the map shows the pathways of the labyrinth of the moon and all the people within it, the map only records places that Rent has traveled. 
The next day Rent returns to the same room but the entrance is closed, Sheila realizes a lot of newbie adventurers are missing Rent, Rent takes up a job to kill three orcs and heads back to the labyrinth, Sheila watches him leave remembering the old Rent. Rent returns from killing the three ogres and returns the flesh well packed and preserved, as a rookie iron class the other adventurers are suspicious of a new rookie doing so well, Sheila suggests that Rent take the promotion exam to take higher level quests, Lorraine offers Rent to stay at her house as long as he wants and he agrees. The following day Rent begins his promotion exam with a written test, Rent notices one of the rookies from the labyrinth taking the test alongside him, since Rent has already passed once he easily gets a perfect score, next on the test is forming a party and completing a guild quest, Rent is introduced to Ryze Danner and Laura Suddy, a swordsman and a healer. The quest takes place in the labyrinth of the new moon, Rent suggests buying a map since the one they were given is 15 years old, Rent buys a map for the first floor with all the traps and updated paths, the party continues through the labyrinth taking down skeleton groups. Rent senses an ambush ahead, with some other adventurers planning to eliminate extra competition, however Rent easily cuts through them using his powerful magic, Rise and Laura have great synergy and the two pull their weight, Sheila talks with the guildmaster about Rent, suspecting him of being a criminal. Considering that Rent had suddenly shown up in Malt with no prior history, the guildmaster does not trust him, meanwhile Rent stands in front of the gate of one of the dungeon bosses, another party arrives at the same time and acts aggressively with Rent. However the team is quickly shut up by Rent and his sword, Rent allows the party to enter the boss's room while waiting outside, the boss immediately wipes the team and guild employees carry them out, Ryze is determined to become a bronze class adventurer and the party continues. The party enters the boss battle and finds a grand slime, Ryze is determined to win this battle before passing to the next room, while Laura empowers her magic, Ryze blocks all the slime's attacks, Rent moves to help Ryze in blocking the slime's attacks, Laura eventually uses grand pyrox to melt the slime, exposing its core entirely. Ryze destroys the core and then they begin taking some of the slime's fluid to sell it later, Rent's party is the first to reach the goal and receive bronze badges, Rent wants to make a quick side trip to the second floor of the dungeon before leaving, Rent shows Rise and Laura a beautiful forest-like room but refuses to let them explore it. After reaching the guild Sheila informs the party they're promoted to bronze, Rise expresses his gratitude to Rent for everything he taught him and Laura, Sheila asks Rent to talk in private and he tries to leave, however Sheila stops Rent from going and takes him to the guild. Sheila says she hasn't said anything about Rent to the guild yet and asks him to tell her the truth, Sheila offers a magical contract that says she won't reveal his secret, Rent shows Sheila his ghastly skin and new body and explains that he turned undead, Rent assures Sheila that he does not plan on hurting anyone. Sheila is determined to help Rent if any issues occur with the guild, Rent brings Sheila back to Lorraine's house where they discuss Rent's condition, Lorraine tries to create fake stories to scare Sheila and test her determination. However Sheila passes Lorraine's test and all have dinner together. Sheila explains that a series of kidnappings have been happening around the village, the guildmaster questions Sheila about Rent because of his mysterious appearance, but she doesn't reveal any signs of suspicion and assures the guildmaster everything is fine. Rent gets a new sword that can use magic, divinity and mana just like he asked, the sword easily lets Rent express all of his strength, and he tries to use both magic and spirit energy simultaneously, however Rent's body barely manages to handle the fusion of such power, when Rent also tries to add divinity the sword crumbles into pieces. Rent realizes he will need much more money for equipment that can handle mithra level magic, Rent receives a quest to defeat the lord of the lake from Ryantis, Rent feels suspicious about the mission and visits the village in danger, the following morning Rent tries to gather information about the festival from some traveling merchants. Amiris prepares to be offered as the sacrifice as her family gets increasingly worried, Rent asks to talk with Amiris the night of the sacrifice and assures her that he will handle the situation, Rent leaves for the lake with Ryantis while wearing masks, Amiris walks down the plank to the boat with both Rent and Ryantis. A fog covers the lake and Rent witnesses a colossal monster coming out of the water, Rent jumps at the beast and quickly passes through, Rent's suspicions are confirmed as the visiting merchants had merely cast an illusion on the lake, Rent defeats and captures all the merchants, knowing monsters like the Kraken would never act like this. Amiris and Ryantis ask Rent to stay for the rest of the festival but he has people waiting at home, Lorraine discusses the lord of the lake with Rent, 
glad that her magic item was useful, Rent deduces that the kidnappings in the village must be unrelated to this quest. Sheila tries to help Rent with choosing a quest, and they both consider the mission to retrieve a dragon blood flower, however the quest only rewards a single bronze piece, regardless Rent takes the mission for the sake of helping the person who needs the flower, Rent visits the house that posted the quest and introduces himself to Alizé. Alizé knows dragon blood flowers are extremely rare but she desperately needs them, Headmistress Lillian has a disease called Malacumula which can only be healed using the dragon blood flower, Rent decides to visit the orphanage's basement and clean it up first before searching for the flower. One of the rats bites Rent and joins his party, following all of Rent's commands, Rent takes the rat back to Lorraine's house who names him Edel, Lorraine warns about the dangers of the Tarask swamp, the only place to get the dragon blood flower, Rent runs into a couple of goblins which he quickly kills and continues into the swamp. A monster of the swamp attacks Rent while Edel watches the show, Sheila talks with Lorraine about Rent, they admire his courage and intellect, Sheila is concerned about Rent fighting a Tarask despite his strength, meanwhile Rent struggles against the hard skeleton of the Tarask, and Edel uses divinity to enter the beast's mouth. Rent follows Edel's plan and attacks it through the mouth. Chopping its neck off, Rent eventually walks into a field of dragon blood flowers and kneels to pick some up, however Rent is interrupted by another person in robes who approaches him. The strange man named Isaac approaches Rent, saying he is also here searching for dragon blood flowers, the field is supposedly poisonous and Isaac is surprised to find other people in such a forbidden land, Isaac asks if Rent could bring him dragon blood flowers regularly as a job and he agrees. Rent asks Sheila to take him to a butcher for the Tarask which remains to be butchered, the butcher takes it to a huge hall and unloads the Tarask to be cut up, Sheila tells Rent that he could easily reach silver rank but he feels guilty since his undead body is the only reason for his strength. Rent goes to the orphanage with the dragon blood flower and is praised by everyone, Alizé thanks Rent for all his help and says she wishes to be an adventurer, Rent tells Alizé he will train her and even pay for her classes, Rent asks Lorraine to help Alizé, and she agrees to help her when free, the following morning Sheila asks Rent about the Latour household. Sheila brings a letter from Isaac and Rent learns about the power of the Latour household, Sheila warns Rent about the dangers of offending the Latour family, as they hold much power over Malt, Rent visits the mansion and asks for Isaac. The guard outside the house says that Rent must pass through a dangerous garden maze before reaching the mansion, if Rent finishes the maze he will receive a magic item from the family which excites him. Rent exploring the garden maze relying on his sense of direction and adventurer skills, he arrives at a spot where he sees a young woman who invites him to have tea with her, they have tea together and engage in a quick chat, he is impressed with her magic teapot which can recreate any tea, she notices his magic mask and offers to buy it but he declines. Before he can continue his journey she advises him not to look at the sun as well, while walking through the maze, he realizes the sun abruptly shifts position, he then figures there's some sort of one-way teleportation in play, by evening he finds his way out the other end of the maze and is greeted by Laura and the strange man. She then takes him to a huge storeroom of magic items to reward him, a mana-controlled airship catches his eye but he decides to look further, while looking he accidentally touches a pile of magic items and awakens a huge golem, the golem begins to attack him but he fights back, Isaac manages to find the deactivation switch and turns it off. Rent and Isaac apologize to each other, following that Rent continues to look around and comes across a bottle of vampire blood, Rent chooses that as a magic item to take away, Returning he shows Lorraine the mana-powered airship that he picked, the scene shifts to Isaac serving a woman behind a curtain. He advises her to rest, Rent then shows Lorraine the bottle of vampire blood which triggers his instincts, Lorraine warns him about the consequences before he can drink the blood, he musters the courage and drinks the blood, requesting Lorraine to kill him if he loses control. Lorraine warning Rent about the possible consequences of drinking the vampire blood and expressing her fear of losing him, she also questions his desire to become a mithra-level adventurer, Rent narrates the story of when he was small, his parents set out for the city to buy groceries for the entire village, one day they decide to take him along with Jean Lin to the city. Jean Lin expresses her wishes to become an adventurer and get strong enough to protect him, that day their carriage gets attacked by a huge wolf monster that instantly kills his parents, leaving him and Jean Lin alive, they make a run for it but aren't able to outrun the monster. 
To save Rent she pushes him out of the way and takes a devastating attack from the monster which almost kills her, she asks him to run and become strong someday, just then an adventurer shows up and protects them by fighting the monster, the adventurer successfully chases away the monster. Rent is angry and questions him on why he didn't come earlier, the adventurer helps him take the bodies back to the village, Rent asks the adventurer how he can become one, and given Rent's age he advises him to study and practice the necessary skills for 10 years before taking the qualifying test. It was that day that Rent decided to become a mithril level adventurer just like Wilfried, Rent then drinks the vampire blood, at first he feels normal but soon he feels an intense pain and falls to the ground, Lorraine tries her best to calm him down and he loses consciousness, the blacksmith works hard on crafting Rent's sword. Elizer visualizes herself as an adventurer and the priestess also feels better, Sheila advises a group of new adventurers to stay safe on their adventures, hours later Rent regains consciousness and Lorraine congratulates him on his evolution to vampire, he notices a pair of wings on his back which can shrink by concentrating on them. Above all he is happy to have his original looks back, the only catch is his eyes are red but that's something common with a few humans as well, Lorraine asks him about meeting Wilfred and Rent decides to look for him as the anime ends here.